Hello everyone. So for today's Read Aloud Think Aloud lesson, we're going to be discussing the skill of controlling a soccer ball out of the air. And this skill can be used for numerous other things in daily life, not just in soccer or athletics itself, but something as simple as keeping something from hitting the ground. So first off, we're going to start by focusing on the different cues that we need to remind ourselves of when trying to perform this skill. So when we're going to bring something out of the air, especially with our feet or legs, we need to cushion the blow. And so when we say control, we want to make sure that the item doesn't bounce off our legs or our feet, but that we control the item, and in our case, the soccer ball, and collect it and bring it all the way down to the ground. That way it doesn't bounce. So the purpose being control it to the ground so we can then move the ball again, whether it's passing to somebody, shooting, or what have you. So, and again, just the cues are going to be to set yourself up, make sure you're in an athletic position, and that you're going to cushion or receive the soccer ball or item all the way to the ground. That way it doesn't bounce. So, for my Read Aloud, Think Aloud lesson, I've selected a text that I think really helps illustrate this idea of the skill of cushioning the ball. And so, I'll go ahead and read it at this time. It is a text called Teaching Soccer Fundamentals by Nelson McAvoy. And so let's go ahead and read this excerpt. So the title is Response Under Pressure, and it goes as this. The first concept of learning has to do with response under pressure. When someone hands you something and you drop it, what do you do as it's falling? Do you throw your hands up like the classic picture of a milkmaid? Do you scream? Do you reach down with a stab of your hand and try to catch it? Or do you try to cushion the blow to the floor by gently receiving it with your foot? The last is what I do. I once burned my foot with scalding coffee that way. Whatever it is that you do, it does not involve thinking. I'm not so stupid that I would stick my bare foot under a cup of coffee. What you do, though, similar to instinct, is a learned reaction. So we'll go ahead and dive into this expert. So what... Nelson McAvoy, the author, is saying is that this skill of controlling a ball out of the air can be applied to other areas of life, and in his case, trying to catch a hot cup of coffee from hitting the floor. I would not advise that. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to burn your feet. But he's saying, do you try to cushion the blow to the floor by gently receiving it with your foot? And so that word right there, receiving, I'm going to break that word down just so we kind of get a, a better understanding of what we're talking about when we say receiving an item to cushion it from hitting the floor. So the definition of receive, there's numerous definitions, but the one that I really like in particular is to bear the weight of or force of and support. So due to gravity, as we all know, things will fall and they will hit the ground. And so we're going to receive and support the weight or force of and support a soccer ball all the way to the ground. That way it doesn't hit the ground and bounce back up. And so when we're saying receive the soccer ball or control it, we want you guys to really focus on putting your foot or leg underneath the ball, holding its weight, and cushioning that blow all the way to the ground. So again, you're going to catch the weight of that ball and you're going to bring it all the way down and you're going to be able to do whatever you want with it afterwards, whether it's shoot, pass, dribble, anything else. So, again, like I said, the skill of controlling a soccer ball out of the air is something we can use in football. It's something we can use in catching a pillow to the floor, or our car keys, or our cell phone, or in the text that we looked at, a hot cup of coffee. So, again, the cues to look at are, are you in an athletic position? Is your foot or leg underneath the item you want to catch in that ready position in order to receive or support the weight of or force of and to bring it all the way down so it doesn't bounce? So, again, that was my Real Loud Think Loud uh, lesson for today. Hopefully that helps you guys in remembering exactly the cues and the skill of cushioning and controlling a ball down to the ground. And we'll dive in later into this lesson of how to then pass a ball, shoot a ball, and the overall skills and rules applied in the game of soccer. So, thank you very much. Have a good one.